I'm Lulu Wong. I'm the writer and director of The Farewell, and today we're going to look at a couple drafts of the script. The scene we're going to look at today is a scene that takes place in a wedding photography studio between Billy and Nai Nai, which is Chinese for grandmother. And in the background, the bride and groom are having their photograph taken. One of the main things we wanted to establish was the relationship between Billy and her grandmother, Nai Nai. And, you know, at the same time, we wanted it to be really visual. Even though it's a dialogue heavy scene, I wanted to make sure that we were always looking at something interesting on screen and reminded that there is a wedding that is supposed to be the focus of the story, even though for Billy, her mind is clearly on the impending loss of her grandmother. Here is a version of the Chinese script. I speak both languages and I understand both languages, but I don't write or read Chinese, so I don't really know what any of this says. But as you can tell, the formatting is very different. Instead of having this indented dialogue that is traditional for American or Western scripts, I guess, the dialogue here is uh, written more like in prose. This says Nai Nai, that I know. And then here is her dialogue. I'm seeing now that they've retained the brackets, meaning that this is in Chinese. I think the biggest challenge in writing a bilingual script for me, what I hear in my head is not what I have the ability to write down on the page. I hear it in my head in Chinese and I'm translating it and writing it down in English. And then the translator would have to take this English and translate it to Chinese. My mom, she did a lot of work with me on this where she would read through the Chinese dialogue and ask me, is this what you heard in your head? Or she would say, it sounds very formal. This doesn't seem like the way that Nai Nai speaks to you. We would make corrections that way. I would tell her what I actually heard and then she would go into the document and change it. We had professional translators and they had their versions and then I would have this side version from my mother. I had no way of distinguishing between them. I think that these bolded lines are the scene headings. This says Billy here. This says Nyo Nyo Nye Nye. That's in English. It's phonetically spelled out. I mean, you can see this was very challenging for me because I don't read Chinese, but this was given to the actors to read so that we could cast them. I couldn't correct it on the page. I had to correct it once I heard them say it at a table read or even on set. So before we started developing the script, I actually did an episode of This American Life. So for a long time, I just called it untitled TAL, This American Life Project. I originally wrote all of the Chinese dialogue in italics. You'll see in later drafts that I actually changed it to brackets because the italics are a little bit confusing. I'm kind of OCD, so I really like consistency throughout a script, so it just became easier to create brackets around any dialogue that is meant to be spoken in Mandarin. The name of the main character, funny coincidence, was Nora, and I don't remember why I named her Nora, and this was way before I cast Aquafina, and that was a very weird coincidence. I think that the main reason I changed the name to Billy was because Nora is a difficult name to pronounce in Chinese, and so I wanted to have a name that sounded the same in English as in Chinese. Billy! Huh? Billy so this is the final shooting script. In the earlier drafts, a lot of these conversations happened in different scenes. Nai Nai had multiple conversations with Billy. You know, here you see it's Nai Nai's apartment, and then another conversation happens in a car. In the final film, I condensed all of the conversations that Billy and Nai Nai have into one scene at a wedding studio. And this is the main scene that you have the dialogue between Nai Nai and Billy. This is Nai Nai complaining about the wife. In this first draft, she says, what is wrong with this girl? There's a part of Billy that feels like if she knew why this wedding was put together, she might have a little bit more appreciation. You know, even here, Nora is defending 
Ami the bride, or Aiko the bride, her name also changed at some point. And then here, she, Billy says she seems really sweet. Okay. So that was one thing that I kept the same from the first draft to the final shooting script was always Nine Eyes Dissatisfaction. In this first draft, Nine Eyes tells Billy, when you were little, you were so generous. You haven't been yourself lately. Perhaps because of your breakup, there's no longer a breakup in the final script, but this stays the same. Nine Eyes says, when you see people, you should say, hello, auntie, hello, uncle, don't be nyo nyo nye nye. So this is silly child here, but throughout the movie, Nai Nai refers to Billy, stupid child. It was one of my producers who suggested we translate it to silly child because stupid child seemed uh, very harsh. In the context that Nai Nai is speaking to Billy, she's saying the word dumb or stupid, but she doesn't really mean it. Uh. And actually, Sha, uh. she uses Sha to refer to Aiko, the Japanese bride. It's only for me within context of how my grandmother is saying that word do I not take offense to it. I wanted to give the audience that same moment of being a little jolted by it, but then relearning the word through the context. <laughs> so this is a really big moment that's been in every single draft from the inception of the script where Nai Nai says, <laughs> In other drafts of the script, this line was sort of interspersed in between other dialogue. Here in the final shooting script, we end the scene with it. And I didn't really write, you know, the reaction because I knew that I was gonna shoot the reaction of Billy and that we were really gonna linger on her face for a significant beat as a reaction to Nai Nai saying this because of course she knows that that day may never come.